Hey, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. Welcome to to my um my humble podcast. Um, thank you for taking the time to record with me this morning. It's a great pleasure to have you on. So um, thank right. you for having me. It's, yeah. Uh, nice. So. Yeah, to be asked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so by far, you know, just to let you know, you're like the most requested one on the on the podcast. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, you're one of the most um recognized player in the team. So yeah, so so yeah. how are you? How are you doing? What have you been busy with? I'm good, thank you. Um, I've been busy training. Um, I'm back um in my where I study so back in school um going to school later today it's just morning here um having dissection and about the air right now um and seeing some friends yeah the time flies <laughs> when I'm home it does it does right so um mm-hmm. so my first question would be uh what does it mean for you to represent the the Philippines and were you I know that you've been back and forth um, in the Philippines with your mother. Did she heavily influence you? How did that uh, decision came about? I feel about it. Um, yes, I feel very yes. proud to be able to represent um, the country and um, to do something that makes the uh, people happy. I'm glad that we can share it with so many people. And I feel I'm really glad to get the opportunity and be able to travel and see how good friends and the team. Um, yeah, and my mom, she she's always been very supportive of my football. Uh, she's supportive of anything I do, uh, and um, I think she never she never pressured me or something like that to play on the national team, but she. She feels proud of me representing the country. I mean, it's very exciting. She watches all the games and knows before me when we're playing. <laughs> right, right. So um, you've you've been playing um, since you were a kid. What's a, the what's a difference in terms of the skill level playing in? What is the difference in the skill level in terms of playing for the national team versus playing club football there in, in Europe? Mm-hmm. It's a big difference. On the national team, you only have a short time to together, and you have to learn the um, the way things work, the style of play really quick. Um, be more. The style is different here. We have so much training. So one training is like you have to be sharp at training, but it's it's not. Um, like you have to perform higher on the national team. Everything, everything has to be uh, good, consistent, and while I'm back home, I can practice more on myself, what what I I want to improve. Uh, but we're more like a team. I work on the team question in a national team. Right. Of course, the the expectations are are higher in in the national team. Um. So, uh, my next question would be: So after you you played in Charlton. Um, in England and then you return to your old club um, correct me if I'm wrong is it how do you pronounce is it K-I-L Hemne is that is that is that right yes exactly. okay <laughs> and then now in in Malvik so you went from um, playing in the women's championship in England then Malvik division three in just two to three years were you already planning to retire from playing and focus on on med school um yeah kind of because i've put my uh studies on hold while i was playing football and um when i moved back home it was that was when i started my studies um i just felt it was time to start and i really looked forward to that um it was a um, tough season the last season in, in charlton so um yeah i felt like that was the best for me right then 
Right, right. So you felt like, okay, I've played in England. Um, I think I'm pretty much settled now. It's time to go to med school. Was that it? Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I could do both. Right. I was a fan. Do, uh, yeah, could be in school and still play at a high level, but it takes a lot of effort <laughs> to do that. <laughs> yeah, of course, I can imagine. Um, are you currently delaying med school now to, you know, prioritize making it to the final World Cup roster? Uh, yes, I am. I'm instead of taking it full time, I'm taking it part time so I can travel and have more time to focus on my football. Mm, right. Okay. That's that's really good to know. That's exciting for for us at least. <laughs> um, so you've uh, you've played because um, I I had to review all the like the the rosters when you played in before and when you played against England. Um, you played against um, Leah Williamson, Kira Walsh. I mean, those are like the toughest, um, you know, players uh, in in Europe now. Um, how was that experience like um, back then? Um, it's uh, very motivating to play against so good players and uh, to see the level. Um, yeah, I'm uh they they were really good um especially like the arsenal as you said level some beth mead i she scored a few goals against us and was was really good that game um so yeah fun <laughs> those are good norwegian players i played with so yeah so on, on top of those um uh, English players, uh, you've played alongside really good Norwegian players as well. Engen for one. Engen is actually my favorite. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, so we know that Ada Hegerberg is widely considered as one of the most powerful um, women in sports. Did you look up to her at some point in your career? And what did you like about her personality or style of play that you want to emulate? Mm, yeah, so for sure, looked up to her. She's a really good footballer. Um, always have very hard, uh, good work ethic, and um, high demands. Um, she, yeah. So yeah, she for sure have really good qualities as a good player and knows what is needed to get to the top. By any good chance. Role model. Right. By by any chance did you get to 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 play or interact with her? No, I no. didn't, unfortunately. She um went professional, uh she went to play abroad really early. Right. Okay. Not so sure. <laughs> so right now, um, is there um because we when you started with the national team, you know, um you were able to to fit into the team almost seamlessly. How did your teammates or your coaching staff uh, help you adjust or made you feel um, welcome and comfortable? They um, they are very friendly and um, helpful learning the way we play. And um, yeah, everyone helps to that. I, I felt like I easily got into the to the group, they're really nice girls. Um, we have video meetings about the, yeah our game sessions. So if you um, if you're new and when you're not in the right position, you will you will be told. <laughs> so you also learn it that way. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So right now, is there anything that you're currently working on to improve your game or? or how you play in preparation for the upcoming friendlies um, and in the World Cup, if you make it? Mm. Well, um, improve everything. Uh, but uh, like what I focus on is um, uh, being clinical in front of the box, being able to create chances, uh, being strong in duels to win more, be aggressive, um, and be safe with the ball as a six. Right. And is there uh, any team that you wish to play or not play against in the World Cup? Oh, I want to play against Norway um, and England. 
the best teams will be a good experience. Well, but I'm I'm glad to play whoever we get. <laughs> you play against good good teams. It's fun. That that would be interesting if you play against uh, Norway. Yeah, mm. <laughs> they just qualified. So yeah, yeah, they did. <laughs> I'm glad they did. I was cheering for them. All right. So I saw that you um, attended um, the event by Beach Hut FC, and you've also visited the Kaya FC Academy. So um, compared to the other players, you've mm-hmm. met a lot of um, younger players here in in the Philippines. Um, before I ask. Uh, what message or what was your message when you've met them? Because um, you've played uh, in 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 Norway in, in the youth system of Norway. Um, what do you think can be applied, or maybe just your general observation or recommendations as to how um, the women's football in in the Philippines can can grow or develop? Mm, um... I know they're planning to have a, a women's league, and that's a real step in the right direction. Um, I maybe just go with the same strategies as the one we have in Norway. Have a, have teams. We um, have uh, yeah national teams at many levels, or regional team. Or if you're good enough, you get on the team that trains sometimes. Uh, like in your home city but I know it's difficult in the Philippines to be at that stage right now but I'm I'm glad to see it improving and evolving it's fun to be a part of that and how it can help to contribute right so basically just um get more uh kids to play uh yeah wherever yeah yeah make it more accessible for example um for example having um, places you can play more trainings, uh, yeah, good mm-hmm. coaches. Right, and so what 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 did you tell the kids, um, when you met them? What was your message to them? Um, keep having fun playing football and uh, train train well. <laughs> yeah, that's my main message. Train well, do your best. Okay, so. Those are the questions from me. Um, we'll jump into the social media questions. Um, all right. So from Josiane Maria, do you play any other sports besides football? Um, right now, I not not like on that level. <laughs> play football. Um, it's mostly just gym work or yeah. But I love playing other sports as well. Um, basketball. Um, I remember playing that when I visited my family in the Philippines. And yeah, I love, love oh, basketball. Yeah, basketball. And when I was younger, I also played, uh, have you heard, sli- sleeper games. Mm, really? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, well um, I'm glad that your family in the Philippines introduced you to that. Because <laughs> those are very unique um, experiences. I'm very Filipino. Mm. all right (laughs) sorry next question how does she feel now that she is one of the most recognized player in the group like an instant celebrity in the philippines um (laughs) it's um well it's really overwhelming i didn't uh, imagine it to be like (laughs) this after the tournament but i'm glad people follow us and um wants to see the football in the Philippines and yeah I, I'm trying to get used to it but I, I like it and... all right yeah I, I just want to yeah like just take note of the in- Instagram group that you had the first time I followed you you had less than a thousand followers but now you're like I think almost 10,000 now wow yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, next question would be from Dex RM. Are your family are you a family of footballers, and how come you're very good on football? And if you're okay to play a friendly against the USA, um, my family is not a football family. Uh, my my uh, older brother played, but he quit um like eighth ninth grade quite early um and my 
uh, my dad, he used to play football and he's watching younger brother. He's, he's more into running, but he's always been very supportive. And when I um, went to train he's, and asked him to join, I, he's always been joining, even though he, like, he doesn't have the um, uh, tactical and the football, but he's, but he's been there anyway, just supportive. So I really appreciate that. And what was the next question? Yeah, if you're okay to play against uh, a friendly against the USA. Yeah. Yes. Yes, the definitely. In the world, but it, was, it will be tough. Yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean, to be the best, you got to be the best or play, play with the best. Play, right. yeah. Yes. Exactly. So from Andrew Aquino, what do you think is the best advice given by given to you by coach Allen oh he um the best he says a lot of uh, a good uh, like he has a lot of knowledge so the best maybe to never be uh to always be hungry like in the football sense <laughs> to uh always um wanting to improve um yeah work on things and yeah gotcha okay from sarah arjasep what motivated you to choose playing for the national team over pursuing your uh, med school now or um i was because it's a great opportunity it's it's not that many that uh I feel lucky to be able to play on the national team and I uh, really enjoy it. Um, had some good, um, uh, it was, it's been the camps until now, the California and the, the one, the tournament, it's been such a good experience. Um, and yeah, I, I like it. <laughs> and I've been in medical, school, I can do that um, whenever, when I get old and yeah. I'm not in a rush. Right, but, right. <laughs> if I may just ask, though, what do, what do you want to specialize in in the medical field? Uh, oh, that's a good question. I, I'm not sure yet. Oh. Uh, I, I remember writing uh, when I was in ninth grade, writing what I wanted to become. And then I write it, I wanted to become an orthopedics. Mm. I think that's because, it's, yeah, injuries mm. uh, can relate to football. But I'm open to everything. Right. Okay. So, and her next question is, what do you think is your instant connection with um, Jackie Savitsky in the midfield? And also, because I had her on the podcast um, a few episodes ago, she mentioned that she met you years back when she played in Norway. Do you remember that? <laughs> I, I can't believe that she remembers that. <laughs> I, would, I was 17, 18. So, mm. so long ago. But, um I may only vaguely remember. <laughs> right. Okay. I was yeah. yeah I was a, uh, and uh, Jackie's a good player. Um, yeah, it's fun to play with her. Mm-hmm. She, yeah. All right. Do Do you have any? What What do you think was um like the secret or or why did you have that instant connection with her in the midfield? Mm, we talk about before the game how you want to play where you can find me and yeah where you have her to make it easier um, and she's also so just very easy to play with because she's a good player <laughs> gotcha okay. your, arri- your arrival has stabilized the philippine midfield and has made it creative and tenacious given that you are not a full-time professional how do you maintain that high level of fitness and standard of play uh, i still train a lot and make time for uh to do that properly and um in good quality you just have to um, be very disciplined in your time. And you can you can do more than you think. <laughs> uh, yeah, right now I'm, I'm fine. I will focus on my football and then I have school on the side. <laughs> right. And you mentioned that you have school later, right? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I will go to the 
the hospital. <laughs> ah, okay. So, from Victor Michael Lardizabal, who is the soccer player or football player that inspired you at an early age to have interest in the sport? Um, early age. Uh, first, it was my brother, because he also played. Uh, but after, I'm a Liverpool fan, so I looked up to the Liverpool players. <laughs> what? Is that not approved? <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, I'm a big Liverpool fan. That's why I oh, like it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> great, great. Yeah. Very, um, that's fun. Um, so I would say Gerard and Suarez, um, Xavi, Iniesta was also yes. giving me films. Yeah. I, and I watch uh, the World Cups for the women's. And I remember showing off France. They had players named T Tini and Nassib. Ooh, Tini. Yes. Okay. Good. Uh, I, really like them. I love you more now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So from Paulo Cala Ilosorio, how did you feel when you scored the first goal for the Filipinas in the AFF? He says he loved your reaction. Ah, thank you. <laughs> I felt very, very glad to Get a goal and yeah, just um, uh, uh, jumping with joy. <laughs> yes, yes, you were. You were jumping. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So from Gracious Ray Cruz, aside from your exp expertise in corners and creating plays and chances for your teammates, what do you think are your other strengths? Other strengths. Mm. I run a lot, and that's a good quality in the midfield. Um, uh, okay, technique. Mm, yeah. Try to make my other teammates better, uh, putting them up in good, uh, good passes. Um, yeah. Gotcha. Are you, are you one of the fastest in the team? No, <laughs> I used to be quick, but not anymore. Gotcha. Um, I think the faster is, is Katrina. Got you. Okay. Very quick. All right. So next question from Happy Camper. Um, okay. So I've mentioned this. You had a seamless integration with the national team. You've established your connection with the strikers, especially Serena, quite easily. What do you think that uh, made it possible? Maybe talk about uh, your relationship on the field with Serena. Serena, oh, I she's really good striker. I if I just play the ball up on top, uh, long pass, she will score. Um, yeah, she's a really nice person, just off and on the pitch, and she goes in front. She's very vocal, but yeah. The leader in that way. She is. So. She is. She is very vocal. <laughs> 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 All right. And from Frown Football. So, uh, um, in the AFF Championship match versus Malaysia, not sure if this is Malaysia, you were subbed early in the game, and then you made a huge impact, scoring one goal and assisting two more. Do you remember what was going through your head when you were subbed on, and what about mm -hmm. after the game? <laughs> Yeah, I I wasn't prepared to get on. I was chill, relaxing um, on the bench. <laughs> uh, but I think that was a good thing. I, I didn't have think, time to think about how what I was going to play and getting stressed. And yeah, I just had to do, do just go out and play. <laughs> um, and what was the other question? Oh, oh that's just game. yeah after the game after the game well um, i'm glad that we got the win um it, it was the sec second game tournament i think I so a good start and yeah i'm glad to be able to contribute to the team right even if i'm scoring or if some yeah the strikers or anyone else scores it's i'm glad on their behalf as well so, right yeah. Okay, and you were, Jack says, you were quite shy uh, or restricted on the field when you started playing for the national team in the first games of the AFF. 
what made you feel more comfortable to unleash your um, full potential in the middle of the <laughs> AFF campaign? Oh, thank you for that. Um, just uh, getting to know players and being feeling more comfortable eventually about how to play with the other players, um, being more um, used to where how we play together. Um, yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, so um, eventually, really, it was all about um, the, the the camaraderie between yourself and, and the team that yeah. developed during the campaign. Okay, so her next question is, um, your fans uh, were branded as egg simps. How do, how do you react or how did you react when you learned about them and what do you think of them in general? <laughs> I, I love it. Egg simps, that, that's funny. Um, and the, I love the fan pages and all the support we get. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I really enjoy that people want to follow um, the team. And um, yeah, thank you for every, to everyone that has supported us. <laughs> Right. Yeah, the, your your fans are are very very passionate uh, online. <laughs> okay. Uh, question from Juan. So he has four questions. So I think you've answered the first one. Player that you um idolized, male or female. Um, mm -hmm. first thing you do after waking up in the morning. <laughs> I eat breakfast. Uh, yeah. I try to be do something in the morning like even if it's training or a uh, star read I feel more productive I feel good about myself if I, I start the day well <laughs> right it, what, what, what's, a, what's your usual breakfast if I may ask um, it's bread mm. it's very Norwegian to eat a lot of bread like oh, I know <laughs> like the um, Filipino version of rice. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, so bread, bread with cheese, for example. Mm. Uh, bread and eggs. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I had to ask that. I was interested. What, uh -huh. what and the juice. juice. Okay. Right. If I have time, some fruits, but no, 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 I, usual. <laughs> <laughs> right. I was interested to know what the, what a Norwegian breakfast would look like. Okay. Um, would you mind spilling a playlist or maybe a maybe a song or a music you listen to before a game? Uh, before a game, mm, I listen to. Um, I'm just check check my what do what do I listen to? Um, well, I have some songs that I always listen to to like get me in the the right mood. Um, I like. Um, Bastille, Grip. Bastille. Yeah. Mm. Um. But I also like listen to Taylor Swift. Just something upbeat. Mm. Um. And Sia. Sia. Yeah. Lady <laughs> Lady Gaga. She has some good songs as well. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And his last question would be. Any food that you eat before a game? Before a game, mm, I prefer chicken, chicken. and pasta or rice. Yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. good, good proteins and it keeps you energized. You have fuel for the game. I feel it's right. Cool. And Nova Almazan's question is: What's your favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> favorite color book is red <laughs> yeah good question mm. okay um from gail kanensha which do you prefer being part of a double pivot or a more advanced attacking role um i um i'm glad to play both it's like different yeah different 
roles you get, the, the, the things you can do. When you're more offensive, you can contribute to the more Good. chances and stuff. But I also enjoy being the one to just be the um, playmaker. Mm, right. Okay. So you're flexible like that. Yes, it depends on my day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, from Kirika28, during the AFF, which team did you find toughest to deal with on the midfield? Uh, it may be Australia. They were good players and very physical, bigger than some of the other Asian teams. Um, also Thailand. We really struggled to like the last game in the uh, group stage. Didn't we? Didn't um, I? Don't know. Get got control in the midfield, play how we should. Yeah, so good team as well. All right. So Thailand and Australia. So mm-hmm. from Love Mile Zero Nine, um, what's a mental tool do you use under pressure? Okay. Um, I try to don't be too stressed. Um, I just think about what my uh, my uh, um, what I'm going to do. Focus on some few things. For example, I want to be well at in during game and training. Um, talk to people that makes me feel good. Having good um people that support you and yeah that helps as well all right and for jordan hughes what is your favorite filipino food and why my favorite food is uh, lumpia and Ooh. i also um, uh, set up ang pakaon, uh, many food <laughs> <laughs> I love um, adobo, vanilla chon. Yeah, my oh, mom wow. is good at making Filipino foods. Oh, nice, nice, nice. All right. Um, from Keen Sanity. Oh, um, sorry, Jordan, because he because he mentioned. Um, please say sisig. Uh, have you tried sisig? sisig? Uh, yes, try sisig. I like yeah. that as well. Oh, okay. There you go, Jordan. <laughs> um, from Keen Sanity. What factors have aided you in achieving your current goals and development as a player? Well, um, just to having uh, to have work hard over a long time and uh, be attentive to details. Um, train with quality when you're training. Um, I always think about how you can improve, never be happy. Um, I think you can always become better. Yeah. Right. Thank you. And from Zia, do you watch any of men's teams in European leagues? If so, what is your favorite team and who is your favorite player? I know you've answered this, but I would love for you to answer it again. And again. My favorite <laughs> team is uh, Liverpool. Um, as well as my hometown's men, men's club. It's called Glimt. They're doing it well in Europe right now. So that's very fun to, to see the matches in the Europa, Europa League. Europa League. Um, my favorite player right now. Yeah. Um, De Bruyne. But he doesn't play on mine my teams but it's fun to see good players anyway yeah great yeah he he's really good too and from it's team 37 um, my question for sarah is how was she inspired to play football and who encouraged her to play i i know i've read it was your brother but if you can talk more about it yes um so he, he started he's two years old than me so he started before me and I wanted to do what he was doing. Uh, so I also started playing, um, always played when we had recess at school. Um, and we played with boys and just fell in love playing football. Never looked back. Yes. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, uh, the last question from our um, social media questions is, 
Uh, I'm not sure if um if I got this a lot, so it's up to you if you want to answer it. On behalf of the gentleman in line, are you single or in a relationship? Um, <laughs> I'm single. Yes. Okay. All right. Easy enough. All right. Yes. You got you got your answers. <laughs> okay. So rapid fire. So I've added the a rapid fire portion um because some of the fans are 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 asking for more questions. Um, so for this episode, I have additional questions from Bolivs Bolivar. Um, so you don't really have to think so much, just choose um an answer, okay? Yeah. All right. So panenka or top corner? Top corner. Tiki taka or counter attacking football? Tiki taka. Bicycle kick or tap in? Bicycle kick. Scoring yourself or assisting a goal? Mm, scoring scoring okay scoring from 1v1 or a free kick outside the box oh uh 1v1 1v1 okay. scoring a volley or a header volley better movement or better positioning for me yeah positioning Positioning. He makes okay. uh, movements. <laughs> <laughs> Coming on the bench to make an impact to get the win or be in the starting lineup in a game where you either lose or draw? Being on the bench and play when we win. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. And my last question is, being that this is football brew and I'm a coffee junkie, how do you like your coffee? And if you don't drink coffee, what is your preferred beverage? I like my coffee like a cafe latte with cream. With cream. Okay. Like full cream or are you particular with the with the milk that you I'm add not, into your coffee? I'm not particular. <laughs> I'm happy oh. with whatever I get. Latte. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. Um so finally just your message to the Filipino football community, Sarah. Um thank you so much for the for um I looking forward to see how the football evolve in the Philippines. Uh, keep playing football. Uh, Laban Filipinas. What was a short message? That's fine. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll just tag you when I've uploaded them and um, everything. Yes, so I'm looking forward to hear it. Yeah. Good, All right. Like nice questions and yeah, it was easy. Very easy to be on the yeah. show. <laughs> I try to make it as comfortable as possible. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. You have a good day. Thank you. You too. You too. Bye. <laughs> you. Bye.